Today, we're going to go over the benefits of pine needle tea. The pine tree has been used for lumber and has been used for medicine. Speaking of medicine, pine needle tea is actually very high in vitamin C. It has been used for hundreds of years to treat scurvy, vitamin C deficiency, and it's also very tasty. Just like the previous video before, I got uh, dog fennel. And this stuff is amazing at starting fires. Once you get your tripod all set up, got your firewood all collected, and go ahead and make you a little bird's nest out of your fire starter. Go ahead and fill your pot up with water. You want to have it over your fire, bring it to a boil, and then we'll start processing the pine needles. Today's pine needle tea, we're using loblolly pine. Uh, you can identify it by the leaves that it has on it. It has a cluster of three leaves. So, we have a cluster of three leaves and many, many different leaf branches on each branch. Norfolk Island Pine and U Pine are not true pine trees and are very poisonous. So if you have those, do not use them for this tea. I've cut a good, I don't know, inch and a half diameter or inch of uh, diameter of pine needles. And then you take and you cut them in half. And once your water comes to a bowl, you take your pot off of the uh, fire and you put your needles in and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now your water is going to turn a little yellow and the leaves are going to turn yellow as well. Let them rest for a few minutes and then let it cool down and you're going to have a delicious home remedy for all your colds. Once it's cooled down enough, you can use a bandana put over your cup to strain out all the particles. What we have here is a cup of pine needle tea. Ah, that's some good stuff. The next time you feel like you got a cold coming on, or you got the flu coming on, or any kind of those symptoms, try you some of this. It'll boost your immune system, and it's very good. If you want to get a, a, a nice little refreshing jolt of your vitamin C, try you some pine needle tea.